Check it out. You're not going to believe what we got. Another beautiful snake. Hello, everybody. I went to Costa Rica to find colorful little snakes. And I did, along with some big snakes. I even found a few new lifers as well. But hey, 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 let's stop the music and take a look at the colorful little snakes. All right, sports fans, first snake of the trip. One head tree snake it is right there. It's up a pretty steep hill. I can't get up there to get it, but you can certainly see it moving around now. Probably over a meter long. Very cool to start off with a blunt head tree snake. First tertiary paleo of the trip. It's a tiny one, probably one born last year. And you can see it right there. If you look closely, there is the yellow tail. Now, the big question is, can I get it out uh, so that we can see the head? It's gonna be a little bit tricky. I think he's probably gonna bolt, but you never know. Oh, look at that. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, so now we can see the head. There's the head. Beautiful, tiny little tercio palo. He's not really in the tree. He just was crawling around the roots, probably looking for maybe a tree frog or something. Hard to say. If you want a reference for scale, that's the scale. These will grow up to over uh, two meters long. And right now this one's maybe a foot long. Very nice. Check it out. You're not gonna believe what we got. Another beautiful snake. This of course is the red-eyed tree snake. It's a much smaller one. This could be a male. Look at that guy. They tend to freak out apparently. So squiggly these guys. Calm down, calm down. Calm down. There we go. But the interesting thing, come on, look at all these leaves. Hang on. There we go. Good look at the red-eyed tree snake. Can you see the red eyes there? Anyway, it's very interesting because back in uh, April, like on the other side of this tree, we found that other red-eyed tree snake. So what's unusual about that? Well, this tree, if you can see it is called the uh, baco tree or cow tree. Because what they do is they, they slice it and get some type of, you see that white latex? This latex comes out and they collect it for some type of medicinal thing, for some type of medicinal remedy. Uh, anyway, what's so unusual is that the roots of these trees are red. They're bright red like this snake and the last two red-eyed tree snakes I found have been crawling right around these baco trees so I find that quite amazing uh, I am gonna try to get it onto a, a leaf and hopefully it will sit still for us Syphilophus compressus the tropical flat snake I'm not sure why it's called that it's sort of a dumb name in my opinion the red-eyed tree snake is a much more descriptive name because there aren't many snakes with red eyes, to be honest with you. Super cool. All right, let's see if I can grab it and I'm gonna set it down at the bottom of the Vaco tree, right where I found it and let it go on its way. It seems to calm down a good bit. Okay, there you go, buddy. Back in your habitat. Way cool. Hey, I thought I saw a snake. It is, it's in the hole there. Can you see it? Let's see if I can call it out. Come on, snake, come on out. Come on out. It's coming out. Look at that. I can't believe it. How cool is that? How cool is that? Came right out. It's World Snake Day. Hey, so we got a new snake species on the property. Check it out. I'm not exactly 100% sure what it is. Uh, I've got some people on the phone right now. We're trying to find out. It's very interesting because if you can see that little tail there, it's got a spike on it and it's jabbing me with that little tail. So it's got a beautiful orange belly. It's got a couple of uh, lateral stripes. So this is a Eurotheca guntheri, something like that. It's probably in the glass tail family. It's a new lifer for me. It's a very beautiful snake. Check out the belly just amazing 
just amazing. I'm going to try to shoot some photos of it because, again, I don't know how common the snake is or anything like that. I don't have a, a book with me. And I've got limited internet. So, anyway, it's very cool. I'll show you the release in just a minute after we get some photos. All right, it's time to release the Eurotheca guntheri or whatever it's called. All right, you see that snake there? I'll outline it. There's the head, there's the body, it goes like that. This is the uh, tiger rat snake. Awesome specimen, super big. I am not going, to, I'm gonna try not to disturb it, but I can't promise anything. Beautiful snake, non-venomous of course. Awesome. Hey, so check out this baby snake. I believe it is uh, one of the forest racers, probably the barred forest racer. But look how cute that guy is. Just saw him going through the leaf litter. And uh, then he stopped and I was able to uh, grab him or her. And anyway. <sighs> All right. All right, Sneaky, you're good to go. Hey, hey, so this is a snake called the Oxyropus. It's the Halloween snake. Check out this guy. He's pretty strong. This is the first one we've ever found on the property. So it's another almost lifer for me. You see, it's not a coral snake. That's for sure, the bands are, are not concentric. There are more blotches, as you can see there. Uh, I can't believe we've never found one. We saw a dead one uh, earlier this uh, trip uh, on the road, but this is the first live one. Super cool, super cool. Let's see if I can get his head back out again. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. There. I'll try to get you. A shot of his head. There we go. That's his head right there. I just don't ever remember them being this squiggly. Anyway, I'm going to let it go in a second, but I want to get a couple of its, these snapshots of it. Well, I didn't get a chance of it escaping, but here it is in the tree. I had no idea they were climbers, but they sure are. Anyway, very cool to find another lifer on this trip. I think we probably owe this to Smet Logic. All right, Oxyropus, good luck, buddy. Wow, that is so cool. It's gonna be hard to get. Oh, shoot. It's Bromelia Boa. Get it from the other side. Oh yeah, there it is. that guy Oop, shouldn't use that language anyway right there a 
look at that. Bromeliad boa, super uncommon because they do live in trees. I just happened to look up and see it. All right, we're gonna let this guy go here. There it goes, what a beauty. Look at there. Look at there. These are very uncommon snakes and it's so unusual to find one on the same tree where I found it probably at least two or three years ago. And uh, we just started. Anyway, good luck, buddy. We hope to see you next time. Hey, hey, we have a barred forest racer. Periscoping. All right, we're gonna go to the other side of the log and see where he is. There he is, right there. Forest racer, fairly common snakes here. Really not worth chasing down. Cool. See my boot right there? See the terciopelo right there? Fertile ants, just a baby. Very close to my boot, almost stepped on it. Check out that guy, just a baby, probably maybe a year old, I don't know. Both Rops, Asper, Fertile ants, the most common problem of snake bites in all of Costa Rica because they are so camouflage and they live close to uh, houses and things like that. Uh, we're way up in the woods, so this one's not really a threat. Huh. Very cool. All right, both drops asked for World Snake Day. That's snake number two.